Yunjian Do slash heel is integrated is all core strength. We're twisting the hips and kicking and punching and all this. It's a total system. Just don't take my word for it. The Grand Master's just, he, if you talk to the Grand Master personally, he, you, all you'll get is him still training for most of his life. He's 80 years of age, he started when he was 12, I think. So there's 70 years of training. He's still going. It's a, it's a total system. See, why I've, even on the brochures, you'll have a look at the brochures that I've put a, a big statement about lower back care during training with Yun Jun Do and the stretching system that the Grand Masters developed and then I've adopted. Uh, it, it keeps the hamstrings very um, loose, the ligaments loose, and the hamstrings and the, the uh, quadrus laborium and glutes and all these other muscles that we stretch in Yun Jun Do is critical for good lower back care. So I'm just giving that a bit of a plug. Have a look on my brochures anyhow, and you have a look at Healy's LowerBackPain.com, the website, and you'll see that I recommend uh, Yun Jun Do stretching for rehabilitation. Because you know, if you, I spent 20 years rehabilitating people at Movements Fitness Centre, working with Dr. Paul Ryan, and had a Chinese acupuncturist. And I'm telling you, from experience, 20 years of it, most people's issues are tight muscles, tight hamstrings. They, never, they sit in a chair all day on a computer and then they come to the gym and bust themselves up. It's ridiculous. It's the stretching in martial arts that will relieve all that. And of course, um, you know, there, there are some good uh, people around, medical doctors and people like myself in the chiropractic field or the exercise physiology field or um, musculoskeletal field. So. You know, we've got the total package sitting there behind that, but our base training helps us. You know, I don't need many adjustments from a chiropractor myself because this training helps me out. And I asked the master the other day, Grand Master, you know, have you got any aches and pains? Because I thought I might, you know, give him a bit of chiropractic. He said, no, 80, no worries. <laughs> so there you go. Stretching, stretching's got a lot to do with that. Our sort of stretching, not not the sort of stretching I see them doing in the, in the rehab clinics. It might be all right after you get out of hospital. But for maintenance, daily living, you need a more uh, constructive stretching like we do. Okay? All right. So you finish your weights workout like I did. And you do some squat work. Now, I'm not going to do what I recommend is you work your way up to, say, 30 full body weight squats. And then you do, say, 20... Uh, kicks, I'll just do say 20 and 10, or 10 and 10. But when you squat, I'll show you on the side, the squ actual squat is right there, like that, right? It's not this. You see people squatting like this, I don't know where the hell they learn to squat. So when you squat, just think of an Olympic weightlifter, or have a look at, um, yeah, just Olympic weightlifting, if they're using a weight, they squat feet out at 45 degrees, right down, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I might push that to 30. Then, you go, it's only with the pants, you've got to pull them up a little bit. So it's the squat kick. So we'll do, say, ten or so of those. So here, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when you do that, do it relatively slow and controlled. I know it's going to burn a lot, uh, but if you do it fast, you may pull a muscle, pull a tendon. And regarding training supplementation, go on to Healy's Lower Back Care or Healy's Lower Back Pain.com. I've got supplement for, formula, formula, formulations that I've been using for 20 to 30 years. 
to wait for this train to pass. So the formulas are all there, the purchases are all there. They can help you because I've, as I say, I've um, um, basically been involved in, in health and fitness supplementation with health centres. I used to own my own health centre, as you know. Um, and uh, I've been involved with Rodney Campbell, who's uh, Masashi's uh, naturopath, naturopath for 20 years. I was involved with um, Vaughan Bullivan's head naturopath for over 20 years. And I was involved with Urban Muscles founder in Brisbane, or the biggest supplement store in the, in the whole of Australia. The owners are friends of mine. I've been involved with them for 20 years. So we know our way around the supplements and what can help you in your training. So go onto my website, healyslowerbackpain.com. Go onto Healy Super Supplements and you'll see the formula there. Give me a ring if you get confused. So that's just a little plug on the side for that. Okay, now knuckle push-ups. You've got to do them. I'll just show you on these two knuckles there. Now, they're not compulsory to do knuckle push-ups, but if you're going to do any self-defense in the real world, the knuckles have to be a little bit firm. Or you could do planks on uh, carpet. But I'll just get down, so hopefully you'll be able to see this. Yeah. So when you do the, when you put, when you do the knuckle, I'm just going to do 10. The knuckle is in line with your radial bone, right? And you don't flick over like this. You only you do the push-up on the first two knuckles. Now, uh, you know, some of the ITF guys, before we resigned and stayed with Grandmaster Ewan, we used to do a lot of breaking, breaking techniques. Punching through tiles, chopping through tiles. My best elbow strike was 10 tiles. The Grandmaster, I think, did six tiles with his fingertips. Fingertips, six tiles. Headbutts, all this sort of rubbish. But it, what it did teach you was you had to absolutely get your focus correct, otherwise you'd break your hand. And a lot of guys did break their hands. A lot of guys did damage to themselves. But that we don't have to do that. I'm not saying we have to do that, but you need a little bit of firming up of the knuckles if you're going to do martial arts training. But some of the ladies don't. You know, you might just do hands, and instead of punching, you might use palm, um, knife hand strike, top fist strike, back fist, back hand, slap, you can use all that. The knuckle, you've got to be very careful. It's in a soft part of the body, no worries. On the chin, on the head, you better have your knuckles toughened up because I've seen too many bouncers, and I've trained a lot of them, and prison wardens, with these two knuckles here busted to pieces because they can't punch straight, let alone boxes. Okay, all right, so, Two knuckles, two knuckles. You're in a plank position, like so. And slowly down, chin, cut your nose. One. And two. And three, nice and controlled. And four. And five. And six. And seven and eight, and nine, and 10. All right, now a little story before we finish up. You can do those fast, I don't recommend you do them fast. Do them slow, 10's enough, and you learn to focus those wrists and fists. My grandfather, who was a professional boxing trainer, he challenged his boxers, he was 70 at the time, 72 I think, he challenged his boxers to do, they couldn't do 10 push-ups. And these guys would do 50, like those fast ones, like that. And he said, bet you can't do 10 properly. They all laughed. So he got down, he said, but you gotta do it at my timing and he did them super slow. I'm talking one, two, three at that pace. Not one of the boxes could make it to 10. They, they, they failed about eight. So speed's not everything. So 
that's increasing iso isometric tension and also for focusing knuckles that's a good technique but if you're ladies and you don't want to be on your knuckles just on the palms your hands or um, you know when you when you're doing strikes and that you can practice knife hand slap reverse knife hand backhand elbow elbows don't need any training elbow this way elbow that way reverse elbow knees they don't need any training right make certain you use ball of the foot you see a lot of the kick even though like especially ufc they use the instep in step with an elbow in it, so you're finished. All the nerves are exposed when a leg is open, the foot is open. When we kick with the ball of the foot, the old school way, when the ball of the foot, the, the knee is, oh, sorry, the elbow, um, correction again, the a, a, a ankle joint is closed up, less chance of injury. And the ball of the foot is like knuckles. You're going to break a board, you, if, 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 if you're doing that like we did in the old days, ball of the foot. So in Yun Do, on the punching bags, it's all ball of the foot, heel, ball, knuckles, and those particular attacking tools. Graham Healy over and out, hope you're enjoying these DVDs. I'm trying to just bridge the gap between the CDs that were done in 1997 and what we're doing in 2020. Believe you me, the classes we're running now, I'll be running 2021, we will cover every sort of self-defense move you can possibly make, we've got the answer for it. And the style of training is like what the Grandmaster had started, we will continue. Okay folks, Graham Healy over and out. Thanks for listening. Be tuned for take number one, two, three, probably four.